I got a double hook up. I don't know what I'm gonna do. That one's gonna pull a lot of drag. This thing's ripping some drag. Pull this one in first, I guess. Probably Bonita on both of them. Probably went through the school of them. Welcome to the last day of snapper season. If you don't want to see me reeling in these Bonita, like skip off. to the two minute mark. Nope. And I'll show you how I use these Bonita to catch some awesome reef fish, especially with this autopilot. Just go right over the top of them, find a good mark, hit spot lock, and just fish. The autopilot's almost cheating, but if you're going to be fishing out here on the reefs, being able to stay on top of a good one is definitely a game changer. We're out here today with Redbeard and a couple other friends. We always have a pretty good time whenever we're out here fishing the reefs. If you guys are interested in coming out and fishing these reefs and you have any questions, leave a comment down below. I can answer any question you guys have. Weather conditions, tide conditions, what's the best bait to use? how to troll for the tuna, and how to fish for these reef fish. There's one in the kayak. Get this other one off. And I don't mention it in the video, but I'm using a Pen Carnage 3 jigging rod and the Slammer 4. It's spooled with 35 pounds of braid, and my leader is just 35 pounds of fluorocarbon. And I'm using a size 2 aught circle hook on the reefs. All right, guys, so uh, those Bonita, that's about the size of the chunk that I take out of them. And then I just got my circle hook with an egg sinker on it. When I feed it through, just punch it through the skin. Bonita skin's pretty tough, but there's some thieves down there, so I'll go through once, and then I'll wrap it around and go through a second time. Just like that. Holds it on there pretty good. I'm marking quite a few fish at 30, 40, and 50 feet, which are probably trigger fish. We're going to drop this down and see what we get. Ooh, you think Domino's delivers out here? Oh, don't lose that one. Fish ever. ever. I've never caught a fish before. <laughs> it was probably, you know what it is? What? I bet you it's a damn catfish. It looks good at first. It ain't fighting. It ain't digging. It's a cat. Oh, that's a little snapper. Uh, might be 16, maybe. Oh man, that thing's like 18 inch snapper. Oh, Rob. That's a monster snapper. Explain. That's a good one. Who's going to want this giant snapper? There we go. That's a beast. Yeah. He's like 40 inches. He's like 40 inches. He's huge. Did you not even see me pull him in? You weren't even paying attention to me. There you go. 
never seen it. It's crazy how much that autopilot outperforms everybody else. I know. Because yeah, you ain't got time, you, I mean, you're, you spend your whole time fishing. Yeah, exactly. Your bait's right in front of the fishing the whole time. It's just shit. Ninety percent of the time I'm out here with spot lock, so I don't I don't realize it how much of a difference it makes. Like I mean I know they do, but how much the day brought to do to stay close to you. Yeah. Yeah, fucking And if you weren't here for me as a point of reference, huh, I'd be all over the place. Well, that's gonna do it for snapper season. Tomorrow is the last day, but the season is gonna be pretty rough tomorrow. So says the app. But it was a pretty good day. We limited out on our snapper. So that's a plus. And we limited out on triggerfish, which is pretty unusual because triggerfish in the Gulf right here by Navarre, usually only 14 and a half inches and they have to be 15. But we found quite a few over 15. So that's awesome. We're trolling back in now. Maybe uh, pick something up on the troll. No tuna, but it's early in the season. Anyways, don't forget, hit the like, hit the subscribe. I'll see you guys on the next one.